Uh, that's never happened before. Hello everyone, it's Piggybank bringing you another episode of Grand Prix Level 7. Today we'll be using the brand new character, Dr. Coil. Alright, grand finale. Max Brass. Ha <laughs> Alright, so as usual I'll be using the default arms. Hmm, let's go with the lock jaws since uh lock jaw is like a double heavy in in one. So if I do this correctly I can probably just get him. Alright, so far so good. Okay. Okay. Alright, come on. Yes, got him with the rusty tag even. Okay. Just one more hit. There we go. Oh, perfect. Didn't expect that, but it does make sense given the fact that I can just beat it out outright um, from a distance. Alright, let's do one brute chuck here and try to. Ooh! Okay. Okay, so far so good. Come on. A little bit at a time. Alright, he blocked it. Let's just get the chip damage here. Alright, okay, I got lucky. Just a little more, more, come on. Hmm, well, so far Max Brush doesn't seem really uh, hard compared to the other characters. Uh, easier, in fact. Um, It might be the stage, actually, now that I think about it. It's really open, so I'm able to just kind of play the long-range, cheesy kind of game. Which is Dr. Cole's strong suit. So yeah, it works out. Okay. I'm probably gonna yeah. There we go. I won by time, which is okay. All right then. Let's get on to the main dish. Honestly, I don't think this makes sense. I mean, Dr. Cole just wants to beat up Max Brass, right? So maybe it's one of those things where um, she's like, I'm not done with you, Max. I'm going to make you stand up and I'm going to beat you up some more, even if it means I have to use headlock on you or something like that. But anyway, here comes the main event. Headlock. All right. Well, as long as I keep the distance, I don't think this should be too hard. So, lockjaw, let's go try this. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. No. No. Oh. Uh, this is harder than I thought it would be. Alright. Alright. Okay. I can do this. Come on. Alright. 
Try to just play the long range game here. Ooh. Wow. So many punches. Okay. Just keep him out of the rush attack. Oh, there you go. Good. Oh, whoa. It hit me from behind. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Ooh, got super lucky there. So it evens up the fact that I got, ooh, hit by the rush attack from behind. I do have a rush of my own, so come on. Oh. Oh, shield break. Yes. That did it. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh man, I might have lost if I didn't get that shield break there. Alright, let's just keep going with the same setup. He still has uh, 6 glove weapons, so... I don't see why I can't do it. Oh man. More. Yes, just keep him away a little bit at a time. Just push him off the ledge. Yeah, just keep him there. Almost. Come on, I have. Oh, no. Okay. Ah! Okay, 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 come on. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh my god. I got so lucky. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Oh. Come on. I need my rush attack. Okay. Alright, I have my rush attack. If I get the full damage from the rush, I should be able to finish him off. Alright, come on. Okay. Don't force it. I have infinite time. Come on! Yes! Oh. oh my god, I cannot believe my incredible luck <laughs> for, for this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Whew. Wow, okay. Um. So, what I want to say about this battle is that um, I was actually feeling all okay with the double lockjaw for pretty much all of the grand prix but with against headlock it was much harder to get the double lockjaws to work because uh simply because i couldn't get the rush attack going um so it really helped to have the bird chuck to get that rush attack combo uh, more easily and yeah, um, I got lucky on top of that, and voila! Okay. So I have another character under my belt. Too bad that if uh, the announcements are true, then this will be the final character. So, yeah. The rad scientist, Dr. Coyle. This win pr certainly proves her theories to be correct. <laughs> okay, whatever they were. I guess her her idea of being strong in arms is uh, following around. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, my little guinea pig. Oh yeah, thank you, my little guinea pig, huh? So I do want to mention that on the right there is Biff. 
Um, so apparently Biff has been around for quite some time because uh, we can assume that these are younger versions of uh, Max Brass and uh, Dr. Coyle. And also there's uh, guitars on the back and a picture of Biff holding that guitar like he's a rock star or something. So I, I'm guessing that her genius had some humble beginnings and then one day just took a whole different path and Max with the T. <laughs> so I guess the rumors of uh, Max Brass being Springman's dad and Dr. Quo being the mom could be true. But anyway, here's the proof. I did do this in level 7. This does mean that I have completed this with all characters. However, now that Dr. Coyle is available for Grand Prix as a final boss, I want to know if you would like me to challenge her on level 7 as a future video series. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I think I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching and take care.